Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel English Bigadan. Today you are going to learn about a classical language, Tamil. In India, there are two main groups of languages spoken. They are Indo-Aryan and Dravidian family of languages. Hindi, Sanskrit, Punjabi, Gujarati, Marathi, etc. These are the languages uh, come under Indo-Aryan languages. Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada and other some other languages come under Dravidian family of languages. In this, Telugu is spoken by more number of people. However, Tamil is the oldest and purest language. Now let us see why Tamil is given the status of classical language. A language can become a classical status due to different reasons. First of all, what is meant by classical? So, to become a classical a piece of literature, art or culture, they have to be extremely standard. They should be ex they should be an excellent piece of work. So, in that way, a classical language has to follow or has to fulfill certain criteria in order to become a classical language. Now, let's see why Tamil is deemed as a classical language in India. First of all, a classical language has to be ancient, which means its origin should be dated back to past. Tamil language is said to be spoken before 50 years, 50,000 years. So, in that way, it is one of the oldest languages. It is also believed that Tamil could be the first language spoken by human beings on earth. So, whatever may be, it is one of the oldest language spoken on earth. So, the criterion one is fulfilled. Number two, a classical language has to be an independent and unique. Tamil language is a pure language. It has no connection or dependent on any other language. Tamil words are not borrowed from any other language. It has its own grammar, its own word syntax, its own sound. So, all these are there in Tolkapiyam. So, in that way, the second criterion is also fulfilled by Tamil. Thirdly, a classical language should have a rich and many literature. So, Tamil has a rich literature. That means many literary works. So, starting from Tolkapiyam, which is written by Tolkapier, which is based on grammar and rhetorics and also about kings. Then you have the powerful and influential book Silapadigaram, which is written by Ilango Vadigal, brother of Cheran Chengutuvan, which is a revolutionary book in the sense it is about a common man, Kovalan, and a lady, Kandagi. So this is very famous as well as have common theme. Then you have world famous book Kural, Thiru Kural by Thiru Valluvar. So like this, uh, we have Puranaanur, Ahananur, Ettu Tohai, 
so we have lot of uh, epics uh, mythical stories dramas and poems so in that way tamil has rich literature tamil possesses rich literature so the third criterion is also met by tamil language to become a classical so once again so tamil has its origin in the distant past secondly it is an unique and independent language thirdly it has a sound rich literature so that's why india recognized tamil as a classical language first in 2004 after that only sanskrit was given the status of classical language so we should be proud that tamil is a classical language so thank you for listening we'll see you next on some other topic until then bye